Hi everyone, hi Luden Aragon. My name is Shar, and I'll be giving you a few tips today for bringing your own innate weirdness into your writing. This is me. I don't have the skills to show video and slides at the same time, so just imagine me speaking to you over the top of this enormous ice cream. I'm a writer and teacher from Dublin, Ireland. I was one of the writers on Divinity Original Sin 2, where I wrote core story, characters and dialogue, including If and Ben Mezd. I was the writer and narrative designer for Nuts, a squirrel surveillance adventure that just launched in February. Probably my proudest moment. I'm currently story lead at Die Gute Fabrik in Copenhagen, working on an as yet unannounced game. And I spent Fridays working on experiments with my partner Martin Pieckelmeyer, including our narrative word puzzle game Vitriol, which we'll be launching in just a few months. We've also made a bunch of cool Twitter bots, and a GPT-2 powered remix of Alistair Crowley's Thoth Tarot card meanings. So now, I want to share with you a few of the things I do to channel my own authentic weirdness into my work. And we start with a little breath. It sounds obvious, I know. I mean, we're all breathing all of the time anyway. Why make the effort? Well, because sometimes our minds are racing ahead of us, and taking a little moment to pause and centre ourselves can unlock much more creativity than racing forwards and trying to do, do, do everything all at once. When we let go, we're free to receive. So let's try it out, just for a minute. Are you with me? Okay, close your eyes. And breathe in for a count of four. So breathing in, two, three, four, and breathe out for a matching count, out, two, three, four, breathing in for four, your body is resting in the chair, breathing out for four, your focus is on the breath, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. And just breathe another breath or two in this rhythm with your focus on the breath, letting any thoughts just slide away as they enter your mind. Descend into your body. Decant your awareness down into your body. Okay. And now open your eyes. Do you feel any different? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, do something odd. You need to break out of your habits, your shell, your persona that moves through the world. Maybe you could go to the shop in a weird hat or walk around the block barefoot. Oh, it feels weird, doesn't it? People are looking at you. You're feeling very aware. Things are different than usual, but different is good. Different is where we can find gold. So now we can try writing something. You can try the morning pages exercise from Julia Cameron's Artist's Way. Three pages, handwritten, writing whatever comes into your mind, no matter what it is. You do not edit, you do not try to make it anything. You just keep your pen moving on the page. You're not trying to do anything with this writing. It doesn't need to be neat, to make sense, or to have a structure of any kind. Even if you start writing, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Over and over, something will come. Your subconscious will give you something to work with later. And then you can read back over it, hunt through the junk, find the little diamonds in the rough. It could be a word or a phrase or even a whole paragraph that sparks something for you. You can also try lots of other little ways to trick your subconscious into giving up the goods. I like to think of it as heisting the subconscious. So you can try rolling dice with options for each number pre-decided, like the dice man. Or you can try cutting existing texts up and rearranging them to create new texts with new meanings. You can try writing to prompts, like a favourite quote or writing after bits of poetry that make your soul feel like it's on fire. Or see what you get out of writing for five minutes on one of Jack Kerouac's 30 Rules of Writing. 
And if you get tired of all these shenanigans, you can try out some artificial intelligence for assistance. For example, Talk to Transformer. Talk to Transformer is an easy way to play with OpenAI's new machine learning model. And it will play you back amazing synchronicities, weirdnesses, and so on. Just feed your problem into the machine and take note of what comes back. The weird, the scary, and the funny. Tarot cards are another great prompt. My favourite exercise is to draw three cards and then make a story linking them together. You don't need to worry about the meanings. The idea is to let your pattern recognition machine of a brain do the work while you sit back and marvel at it. Now, when hunting for inspiration, the one thing that never fails me is my trusty notebook. Referring to it on dull days has saved my writing on more occasions than I can count. Make it a nice notebook, a little item that gives you joy just to look at, with creamy pages that are just the right thickness of paper. Carry it everywhere and write down everything that interests you as you go about daily life. Because anything that you find in your notebook later is going to be a great seed for a future story. So yeah, speaking of stories, life is hard, huh? And when things are hard, the natural human reaction is to want to run away from them, to hide. But I want to suggest, as a writer, that you resist this. Resist it. Stay in the pain. Your pain is the place where the words you have to share with the world reside. And if you can bear to sit there, even for a little while, still and silent, these words will speak to you. And what they will tell you is something unique, something only you, you completely 100% unique creature, something only you can express. And that is the Philosopher's Stone of creativity. The priceless pearl your soul will craft from the grid of your suffering. And that will help you create compelling writing that will resonate with other human beings. Human beings who are struggling just like you. But you can't make something that everyone will love. Don't even try. I believe that's the road to absolute mediocrity. Instead, I urge you to find your niche. Find the other ludicrous weirdos who share your special vision of the world and make something for them. Work for your tribe and they'll love you for it. Make the thing that will make one person's whole being light up with recognition and joy. And start with yourself. But uh, you have to actually do it. That's the rub. <laughs> and I wish you all the best of luck with your writing and your weirdness. And if you try any of the exercises and find them useful, please do let me know how you get on. Thank you so much for your time and I hope you enjoy the rest of Ludonaricon.